Good morning. Are you awake? It's overwhelming seeing you all. I'm really, I'm so happy that our 16th edition of DLD is upon to start. I see many old faces, oh no, old, not all, no, no. <laughs> Known faces, friends, and I see some newbies. Who of you have been here before? Look at this, look at this. And who are the newbies? How? It's half and half, that's wonderful. So, friends, let's dive straight into the conference. Let me ask you first, what are you adding? What are you adding? This is the DLD motto 2020. It's not just a phrase, believe me. I really, really mean it. What are you adding? Remember, one year ago I stood here and I was asking, or demanding, more optimism and courage. In the face of ongoing transformation of our world, we still very much need optimism to grasp the opportunities that the digital age provides us. And we do need courage to drive us to overcome boundaries and fight the fear of the ever-changing future the fear of the ever-changing future. However, this year, we are one step further. Let me tell you why I believe this. For years, we have discussed the challenges of digital transformation at DLD, of big tech taking over our world, of democracy under attack, of strategic disinformation of superhuman machines replacing us of cyber attacks and quantum supremacy. And of course, the shifting global balance of economic power, the perils of geopolitical conflict, migration, and most of all, climate change. Over the last 12 months, these challenges haven't become smaller. But still, something has changed. I'm sure you know it. Students continuously skipping school to demand climate action. Governments setting up realistic schemes to foster much-needed digital literacy. Muted gala. <laughs> Corporate companies taking action in tackling sustainability, diversity and inclusion. Tech entrepreneurs and coders working on fairer, better and more sustainable business models and products. VCs openly rethink thinking their investment strategies with a view to environmental, societal, and governance implications. All these are examples for pragmatic action driven by intrinsic motivation. All the protagonists are asking, what can I do? What I'm, am I personally adding? Personally adding, ask yourself. Never in 15 years of DLD history has a conference agenda been so driven by the willingness and true commitment of all speakers and partners to not, to not just address challenges and opportunities, to not just talk about ideas, but to come forward with tangible proposals, with actual plans, with measurable action to create impact. Business impact, social impact, societal impact, political impact, cultural impact, and so on. We all feel that it is high time to stop lip service and use the momentum for systemic change. What does it take? First of all, stop lamenting. We shouldn't lament anymore. We should act, each and every one of us. Secondly, let's look into our own cosmos. What can we add anywhere, anywhere in our closest surroundings? Seeing the big, big picture is important, but the proverbial verbal, thousand mile journey, a thousand mile journey still starts with the first step. Don't be afraid to take this first step. Question your beliefs, your routines, your thought and your behavioral patterns. My, and I really ask you to do this. 
There are so many big ideas. But think of it, what can you add for them? What can you, how is your action going to deliver? My never ever man ending mantra is one of self enlightenment. Learn about the things that frighten you and they will no longer scare you. Search for truth. Truth is the foundation for trust and trust is what all human Social, what all human societal and business relationships are based upon. Let me say it again. And trust, trust is what all human societal and business relationships are based upon. Think of yourself, who are you trusting? What ideas are you trust? What does trust means for you? Where there is no trust, there will be no development, no sustainable action, no impact. On Monday, when we all go to our filter bubbles, back to our filter bubbles, I'm pretty sure we will all ask ourselves more generally than before, what I'm, when I'm I adding? How can I add? And most importantly, why? Without this why, all our pragmatism will lose traction quickly and leave us frustrated. To sum up, you have come to the right place to achieve the goals I just described. I, I hope so. <laughs> DLD is not a mere procession of speakers, not a pearl string of pearl speakers and so on. It's not a mere procession of speakers you can listen to passively and enjoy it from the comfort of your seats or the never-ending video stream on your cell phone. Don't consume. Now I'm lost. Here? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Sorry for this. I was so pathetic, you know, so that I, no, so now here. Yeah. <laughs> now we are here to search for truth to learn and to create new alliances. DLD, as some of you know already, is an ecosystem that invites to connect and to build trust. So what can we, um, so what can you expect to the next days? First, there's a, our exuberant agenda of, guess who many, how many speakers we have? Five. Five? No. <laughs> we have 220 speakers in 90 sessions on two stages running in parallel. Please don't feel overwhelmed, but take us upon our offer. We are happy to navigate you through the most relevant topics that shape time, our time, artificial intelligence, spatial computing, VR, AR, blockchain, blockchain, food engineering, cybersecurity, and of course, also already quantum computing. Not just for the sake of it, but with a view to what, how, and why these technologies can add to transforming our world for the, world for the better. We'll hear from high-ranking political leaders from Bavaria, the German federal government and the European Parliament and Commission about their strategies to really take the digital society and economy to the next level in the race for innovation. Who's adding most to global impact? Europe, the US, Africa, Asia? Questions your beliefs, your routine. Oh no, so sorry for this, but you, might, you know how it is sometimes. It's, so. Now I'm back on track. <laughs> we have invited analysts, critics, and commentators of the digital age to pragmatically discuss some urgent questions. Does the internet need a, rebo a reboot? And is blockchain the answer to all our questions about big tech? How much have we learned from privacy and this, from the privacy and disinformation scandals of the past? Is democracy on the attack in digital age? Are we clinging to a societal model that's going to be discontinued? Discontinued. And what are the social media platforms adding to this? 
Will they take up the role of gatekeepers? Should they? Let's discuss. We hear from scientists and change makers how we can thrive in a world that overwhelms us every day, how we can step out of our comfort zone, and why we should do so. And last but not least, we are welcoming a group of amazing artists who will guide us along their seismographic thought patterns, which often reveal unseen truths. I really encourage you to go to the art sessions. The artists we invited are amazing. They are true seismographs of societal change. It opens your mind. Listen to them. Sometimes, I have to admit, you don't understand them in the first moment. But if you think further on, they give you something you never expected. So let's use and grow the DLD ecosystem to, that, to add to a fairer, better, and more sustainable future. And now a little bit housekeeping. As I said, we have two stages which are called Bavaria and Munich. This one here is the Bavaria stage. Munich is only a few steps away. Other than last year, you don't have to skip the house and go to the next house. It's around here at the corner. Find out. Move around between the stages for the full DLD experience. Both program strands host equally relevant topics and equally excellent speakers. For the first time in DLD history, we're offering also a third stage, the steel case stage, where we are hosting deep dive talks on various topics for all those of you who would like to go deeper into certain topics. You can sign up for deep dives on the DLD app. So I suggest you download the app to see what's on offer. Amazing things are to offer. Really, you should do it. In the spirit of our theme, what are you adding? We have given 50 free conference passes to change makers of the future who have applied with a special mission statement. Who are the change makers here? Who are the future, future friends here? So connect with them. Make sure you talk to these youngsters. They are here to give us fresh ideas and perspectives. You can spot them by the blue 50 for future sticker on their name badge. And last but not least, DLD wouldn't be possible without the valuable input and contributions from our amazing partners. Many, many thanks. Where are the, where are the picture for the partners? Make sure you connect with the great companies that create the DLD experience together with us. Here we are. Here's an overview of all of them. I'm proud to have you on board, board dear partners. Who of the partners sits in the audience? Thank you. Thank you again. It's really great to have you for a long time, some of you. And this is an offer. If you, dear DLD community, want to meet anyone in particular, connect with someone, Please don't hesitate to ask me or the DLD team, my wonderful DLD team. We are happy to connect you. And now it's my pleasure to wish you an insightful, crazy, relevant, good DLD. And now I'm calling on stage my dear friend and long-standing partner in crime, the DLD chairman, Yossi Vardy. Good morning. Before I open, I have to tell you, I told uh, Mr. Cullen, look how beautiful coat Steffi has. I told, uh, I told him, I want to make this comment on stage, but today I don't know anymore if you can give a compliment or you cannot give a compliment or <laughs> it's the appropriate thing to do or not the appropriate thing to do. I was, I was born in the middle of Second World War II, and the ethics were totally different. We used to compliment girls. We used to, 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 
You can I kiss, can do it? You can kiss me, yes. I can kiss you <laughs> where? Here. <laughs> so Callen told me that I can give a compliment, but it depends how I will do it. From my experience at home, I know that I do it very badly, but I decided to take, a, to I, take the chance. So you I look leave. really oh, thank you. wonderful. It's for the audience. And for the audience. Now. I leave you. You leave me, OK. <laughs> uh, Steffi told you why you should go to all the wonderful lectures and to spend time either in Hall 1 or in Hall 2 or in Hall 3. And I'm going to advocate the most important place in a conference, and this is the hallways. Stay in the corridors. Don't go to the lectures. <laughs> because the killer app, you remember at the beginning of the internet, everybody spoke on the killer app. The killer app are people. The most amazing part of the conference that we have, it's you, the audience. The audience is the best content. Every one of you is very interesting. Every one of you literally was handpicked. Every one of you passed a lot of discussions of number of people, and so you are the, the, the chosen ones. And take, take a good chance to meet to meet the people. Who are the new people here again? The first timers? About 30%. Who was here in the past? About 40%. So 30% new, 40% were in the past, and another 30% don't have any idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> now, in order to reduce the barrier for you to meet the people. We will do a few exercises. We are doing it very every year. We will do it uh, quickly in order to lose you and to enable you to get in touch with each other. First of all, this is not a badge. It looks like a badge, but this is a social contract, which means that when you wear it with your name outside, you invite people who don't know you and you don't know them to approach you and to talk to you. Which usually, if you do it in, in common circumstances, it's regarded as a bad behavior. Here, you are invited to talk with the people and we will try it. When I count to three, everyone, but not before, every one of you is turning around 180 degrees and give five to the person behind him. One, two, three. <laughs> in former... In, in former years... Sepulveda, you can sit down. In, in former years, we try to introduce the Eskimo way of saying hello <laughs> by rubbing noses. It didn't work too well, but if anybody of you is have an urge to try it, try it with your neighbor. <laughs> okay, so we are having a great program in front of, in front of us, meeting the, your friends, meeting your neighbors, meeting the people you don't know is very important part of the experience. Take, take advantage of it. And now I'm going to invite the next greeter. Before I invite him, I have to give you one background. The next gentleman is the person who approves every year the budget <laughs> for this event. So you better give him a very warm welcome in spite of whatever is your instinct. <laughs> because, because if you don't do it, then we may not have an event next year. I would like to invite to the stage Paul Bernard Cullen, the CEO of the Buddha Media Group. And I would like to ask him the question, Mr. Cullen, what are you 
adding. Mr. Cullen, please. That's a great question, by the way, Yossi. Um, and uh, that's not the reason why I'm standing up here, that I'm adding something to it. Um, I, I, I thought by myself why I'm standing up here, and I think uh, it needs two to tango and three to open a conference. <laughs> At least uh, that must have been on the mind of Steffi when she volunteered me to show up. Um, frankly, I'm very enthusiastic about having you for the next two and a half days. The program looks fantastic. Events around it are well prepared. Um, and you could support me by giving a warm applause to the team that did a great job in preparing everything and that is doing a great job for the next two and a half days. So most of the value I can add, I delivered. Thank you. Um, it's 2020, uh, beginning of a new decade. Many people discuss and write about what we have to expect. Don't panic, I'm not giving you my full list. The piece of paper that I'm having in front of me doesn't contain this. On the first one is only said, don't go to stage. On the second is, stop, be silent. On the third is, disappear. And on the last one is, thank you. So, I will not give it. I like the observation which is attributed to some very wise people. We tend to overestimate what happens in a year. We tend to underestimate what happens in a decade. I think in every new decade, we should think about it for a moment. Look at the program, look at how many topics we wouldn't have seen on the agenda of DLD 10 years back in 2010. Digital revolution has changed so much what, that we discuss about sovereignty and democracy. Who would have expected this to be a topic 10 years later? We talk about cybersecurity in a totally different way than we would have done 10 years ago, or AI. That was the beginning. Now we are in the middle of it. Quantum computing, it's near. It's not an idea anymore. Genetically modified humans and augmenting humans would we have thought about it back in 2010? I could go on and on. What are we adding? When Steffi dropped by a couple of weeks ago um, to give me her idea of the motto of DLD this year, I honestly speaking was surprised and fell silent for a moment. That is not my natural habit, by the way. I thought it sounds a, li a, a little aggressive a little intrusive even? But isn't it the right question at the beginning of a new decade, knowing that we are in the very steep part of Moore's Law's curve, with so many disruptions and changes already having happened? Who shapes, who contributes, who adds, if, so, if it is not us? Don't we come to DLD to see more aspects and prospects of digital trigger, triggered changes? Don't we wish to influence and shape all this ourselves? I started to like the idea, and the program and the speaker um, line up for the days, and you all give a way for me for the next two and a half days to think about what are we contributing, what am I contributing, what is border and media people contributing. All media progress is based on technolo te technological innovation. We basically live on the crossroads of technology and content. We must be striving for technological innovation to deliver new products for our consumers. Our field of activity was the first to benefit of digital revolution, the first to develop new media product, product and services. At the same time, we media people live in the middle of any societal change. We are sort of the seismographs. We see and live through all this with a much higher intensity than most other industry. That triggered us to bring at least once a year most innovative people to Munich to discuss all important developments and changes caused by the digital revolution. 
we thought by doing this we might add a little and contribute. And if we are able to trigger that with you, I think the DLD team did a great job. Thanks for your attention and have a very good conference.